Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and this is a quick case of a paralabel cyst that's pinching a nerve. And so here we go. This is a patient who had shoulder surgery not that long ago. Their rotator cuff was thick, um, but it looked like it was intact, not a full thickness re-tear. Um, and I have an arrow here on a label tear. They had a, had a repair of the labrum, but there's a new tear here. And it doesn't show up that well on this view, but you can see right there a little bright dot. And if we go towards the back, this is the about the 12 o'clock 12 o'clock position. If we go backwards, you can see a little bit of grayness there. So there's a tear of the posterior superior labrum and an associated septated paralabral cyst over here. So the paralabral cyst goes into the spinal glenoid notch, and it looks like it compresses the nerves. Now if we put up a sagittal view here, a T2 view, we can see that's the front. And so we go medially. Now if we go medially, we can see a little component of that paralabral cyst going medially. And then right here is that cyst in the spinal glenoid notch. And on this view, if I window it just right, we can see in the front the subscapularis muscle, the supraspinatus muscle up top, this is the teres minor muscle down in the bottom. And we can see all the muscles are nice and normal size and really jet black. But this muscle, the infraspinatus, is gray and maybe a little bit atrophic. So the suprascapular nerve is getting uh, impinged, the division that goes to the infraspinatus here, and causing a little bit of infraspinatus muscle edema and atrophy. Depending where this is and pinches the nerve, you may also get supraspinatus muscle atrophy. A lot of times I see them together, but this one just is in the right position to get just the nerve going to the infraspinatus. So thank you very much.